How is everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Uh, collector Booster Box of Infinity. We're going to give it another shot today, and we are galaxy questing. We are galaxy foil questing, that is, looking for one of those galaxy foil shock lands. Um, today really is more or less going to be about looking for shock lands and then looking and tracking the uh, the basic or spacic land cycle, if you will. Not going to really talk about uh, value otherwise, I, as I just, you know, it's I know that there's going to be eternal uh, legal cards in here, format legal cards, but... So tough to say what will and won't see play. I really do feel like most of the value is in those shock lands and in the spacic lands. So we'll, maybe we'll track the mythics, but other than that, that's really just going to be the focus today is all about the lands, 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 and I guess some mythics in there too. And with that being said, let's do what we do. Let's crack some packs. So we know that uh, all these boxes come with a box topper, and the box topper uh, does appear to be a uh, foil borderless shock land which is already cool in its own right um i love that the fact that the the box toppers have have meaning have value um we really kind of haven't seen that since zendikar um in terms of having a, a box topper that it was like wow there could be something actually really valuable in here um so that's gonna be, uh that's kind of cool i really like that about this it does obviously add like a at least a baseline value now again value wise we're we're not going to really focus too much on exactly exact pricing today, but I do have a feeling that those shock lands are going to hold pretty good value over time. So, uh, you know, that's going to be that that um, the chase thing. God, these these galaxy foils do look nice. I, I'm going to make this a shorter video than I did on the last one, um, so we won't. I won't stop and sit there and oogle at every single <laughs> every single galaxy foil. But hey, mythic uh, surgeon <laughs> surgeon commander. Okay, that's that throwback card there. Galaxy Foil Captain Rex Nebula. That's cool. And then we got our first our first basic lance in that uh, it's a mountain. And then our galaxy is going to be a galaxy landscape uh, forest. The planet ones, I, I, the first video I did, it showed a ratio of about, of about three to one. So we'll see if that ratio continues to hold here. It does seem that the, the planet basic lands are significantly difficult about three times uh, you're about three times more likely to pull these versions as opposed to the other ones we'll see if that ratio continues to hold true today all right um, let me know what i'm doing here i'm gonna try and make these piles simple so they're not out of control and crazy by the end of this video all right goblin blastronauts and we got spacex exit the grift shop pietra crafter of clowns <laughs> By gnome means possible. I see what they did there. And then a caricaturist in that uh, galaxy foil. Hey, cool. Galaxy foil uh, planet land. Very nice. Not galaxy. Sorry. Not galaxy. This is a non -ga the non-galaxy foil slot. But still a, fo a, fo a foil forest land. And then we got a swamp. Galaxy foil. Okay. Yeah, if, if those are going to be... If the galaxy foil land is specifically the very last slot in the pack which that does appear to be the case and the actual space lands are going to be you know approximately three times more difficult to pull than the regulars that's going to make those you know those galaxy versions are going to be uh going to carry a nice little premium on them because you know really you're only talking about collector booster boxes you're only talking about the the, the collector booster packs i should say um, and then you're talking about one specific slot, and then you're talking about a rarity that is, again, you know, about three or four times more difficult to pull. Uh, that, to me, does keep a premium on those particular galaxy foils. All right. Uh, what are we doing here? I don't know. I'm sure that seems right. Okay, and then we've got an island, and then we're going to hit our galaxy foil slot, and it is going to be a... Ooh, hey, very nice. Island's always doing their thing, right? And, uh, oh, look at that. That looks so good. That's what we're talking about right there. Those These lands are just absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. Very nice. So it's our first one of those of the box. All right. The uh, shop lands seem to be an average of about one per box. So you're getting the box topper. And you're getting one per box otherwise and it can be i have i think i have seen a video where you could, you could pull the regular shock land or you know borderless foil i should say not regular per se but then a galaxy so it is possible to get more than one 
but it seems like on average it's about one one per box. All right, we've got Devil K. Neville, Manaxa, Midway Manager, Avatar of Me, and then we've got a Myra the Magnificent. That is a mythic, so I guess we're tracking that, right? Sure. Uh, it's non-galaxy, and then we hit our Swamp, and then we've got our Galaxy Foil Island there. Not bad, not bad. All right. We are, whoa, four packs in. Getting ready to be five packs in. Okay, I probably missed a mythic because I wasn't really paying attention that much. <laughs> it's weird to not really be looking for mythics. I, I, it is very strange to train your brain to look for those things and then have to like shift away for that because you're not, it's not the big draw. All right, so we've got Vorthos, Steward of Myth. That is a mythic. And Galaxy Foil, sure. Galaxy Foil, Vidalcan, Squirrel, Whacker. And Brim's Baron. Uh, right there, I think it goes right there. And then we've got our Animate Library. Meet and Greet, Sisse, which is, that is a galaxy. Very nice. And then we've got our Forest. And our mountain, our galaxy mountain. Again, very specifically, that's where that's where uh, we would love to see a shock land is in the very back of the pack. That would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> I love the red balloon tokens. All right. Get into our foil uh, borderless attraction. We've got Devil K Neville again. Questionable cuisine. That uh, galaxy foil, the elemental here, Roxy publicist to the stars, also in that galaxy foil. Then we've got better than one as our throwback card. Chief engineer, that uh, does not appear to be galaxy, it's just a regular foil. Then we've got our, ooh, very nice, our very, uh, very cool spacic planes. Just again, very good looking, very beautiful. Ooh, and a nice, a, uh, Galaxy foiling on that swamp and those again, it's a little bit more subtle because the cards a little bit darker But there you go. That's probably a pretty good look at it That twinkle there really does add another dimension to those those galaxies look really good All right second half of the box uh, No shock lands yet. Uh, no, that means no galaxy foil of shock land yet But we have half a box to go and That's our focus Galaxy questing for the galaxy foil Shock lands. All right, Carnival Barker. Uh huh. And then Sword Swallowing Seraph. A lot of alliteration there. Ignacio of Myra's Marbles. We've got our Manox and Midway Manager again. That's just a pack foil version. As luck would have it, in that throwback slot, Fluoros of Myra's Marbles. This is in the Galaxy foil. That actually looks pretty cool with that. Uh, I think it's like a showcase variant. Looks good. Okay, there we go. Hey, very nice. Uh, I am not going to complain about seeing a shock land. I will never be upset about seeing these uh, these uh, space shock lands. And that is a steam vents, which is a awesome, awesome hit. Very, very, very nice. I think that uh, is definitely going to be a chase. I mean, all of the all of the shocks are going to be chases, but that's a huge pull for us. Very cool, right there. And then a galaxy foil island. And again, I have seen. I'm going to grab a sleeve real quick. I have seen multiple shocks in a box. I have seen a uh, shock land and a space uh, and a excuse me galaxy foil shock land come out of a box. So that does not mean that we're drawing dead to the galaxy foil shock land as well. So honestly kind of a good good feeling to get uh, a shock and get a really good one. I mean again there's no really bad ones but steam vents it's gonna be up there. I think steam vents, blood crypts, you know those those shock lands that do tend to see more play due to being in various archetypes throughout modern and pioneer. Of course you know, when standard legal, they're all over the place there as well. All right. Steam vents. Very cool. Not upset about that. Not unhappy, if you will. All right. Exchange of uh, exchange of words. Alpha Guard has our... Oh, very cool. Uh, we've got a Vorthos Steward of Myth. That is a galaxy foil, but it is a mythic, so we'll put that up top. Spinneret, a Rachno, uh, Rachno Bat. Uh-huh. Um, that's Galaxy Foil. Cool. Bingo as our throwback card. I have no idea if any of those have any value whatsoever. I'm not really necessarily counting on it. Pack Foil, Fluoros of Myra's Marvels. And then we've got our Planes. Uh, 
And we're gonna finish with a Galaxy Swamp. All right, looks like we have uh, what, four packs left? Four packs left. Be awesome to get a second shock out of the box. That's the out of the you know box top. That's not the box topper. Um, I would guess that that's at least in theory possible. Okay, we've got our uh, attraction, our borderless foil attraction, Omni Clown Colossus. Huh, there's an adventure. That's cool. I actually don't think I knew that there was an adventure card in there. All right, we've got. Disemvowel, see what they did there. And the Galaxy Foil, Katarina of Myra's Marbles. Actually, it looks really good with that Galaxy Foiling. Nice. Pietra, Crafter of Clowns. That's just the regular foiling. And we've got Alexander Clamilton. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. And our Claire de Lune. Uh huh. That is Galaxy Foil. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Uh, we've got our uh, Spacex Swamp there. Again, uh, you know. Looks like they're, they're a little bit more, a lot more difficult to pull up. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. And then our Spacek Galaxy Foil Mountain. That looks, that looks awesome. Like, really good. I think these new, these new, I mean, I, I say, feel like we say this about every set now, but I don't know if I'm going to get over these. Like, I, these might be my new go-to lands, just in general. Like, the, the Space Lands, the Spacics. I don't know if I'll get there with the Galaxies, because they're a little bit more difficult to obtain, but... I feel like those are my new go-tos. <clears throat> All right, we got three packs left. Still questing for a galaxy foil shock land. A galaxy quest, if you will. All right, here we go. Cover the spot, our borderless foil attraction. We've got Trust, Chief Engineer, and the pack foil. Plot Armor, that's galaxy. Germain, Pride of the Circus, also galaxy foil. Uh, ooh, Brem Barone. That is, uh, this actually does appear to be Galaxy Foil variant as well. Very nice. Insight. Insight. As the throwback card. Katarina of Myra's Marbles. That's just the, uh, regular foil in there. We're gonna get into our Swamp. And... Galaxy. Galaxy Mountain. With said symbol. Two packs left. Oh, man. Come on, box. You can do it. Show me that galaxy. Show me the galaxy borderless. Borderless uh, shock land. All right. Guess your fate as our borderless foil attraction there. And we've got Leela Hospitality Hostess. That is a mythic. Let me look at the cart tired anytime. It has the acorn symbol, so, you know. Okay. Cool. A mythic. Um, all right. Xeno Squirrels in that galaxy foiling. Exchange of Words also in that galaxy. Roxy Publicist to the Stars. That's just the regular. That's the non-galaxy version. And then we've got Infernius Spawnington the Third Esquire. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Those cards crack me up. Uh, the Hardy of Myra's Marbles. And that does appear to be in that galaxy foiling. So that's very cool. Nice. A little subtle on that one. And it still looks really good. Then we're going to get into our forest. And then we're going to get to... Ooh, Breeding Pool. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Galaxy foil Breeding Pool. We did it. We've completed our galaxy quest. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. What? This card looks incredible. Holy moly. I don't even, I'm trying to move it around so I can capture the, the different uh, lighting there. But oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Wow. Uh, I see what the hype is all about. I see what I've got a sleeve and I don't even want to put it in the sleeve. And now I'm going to put it in the sleeve. I get it. Holy moly, these look incredible. These look absolutely legit. Woo! All right. Well, there's... That makes it all worthwhile right there. Very nice. And we still have a box topper to go. So we have one pack to go, and then a box topper. Um, I feel like we're in a... I don't know how what, what the pricing is going to settle like on, the, on, on, those, uh, on those lands. You know, I... It's tough to say how much of this is going to get opened and, you know, with how rare they, they are or appear to be anyway. Um, it's really tough to say. But, uh, man, it's hard to believe that th that they're not going to continue to be sought after cards. <laughs> Vegetation Abomination. Well, Galaxy Foiling looks wild on that card. All right. Meet and Greet Sissé again. Ambassador Blurpity Blurp Bloop. Infinity Elemental. That is a mythic throwback card. Nice. I guess, I think, I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, Solar Flora, uh, intergalactic icon. That's just the regular foiling there. And then we're going to get a planes, and we're going to end with a... Ooh, very nice. All right, regular old planes. Well, galaxy foil regular old planes per se. Uh, yeah, so again, look at that breakdown, right? So, I mean, it's pretty... It's pretty consistent. This is only my second box that I've opened, but three Galaxy Foil Spacex, three regular Foil Spacex, and then look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because these two took the slots of of those cards in those particular uh, packs. So it does the steal. The ratio is just about three to one. Okay, we're going to get our box topper here. And I'm going to be ever so gentle with this. There we go. All right, what are we hoping to see? Uh, let's just find out. Oh, another Steam Vents. Yeah. All right, I'm uh, I'm cool with that. There's no complaints from me on that. So we're gonna end up with a double Shockland Borderless uh, Shockland Steam Vents, which is awesome, right? Dope. And we're gonna end with also our Galaxy Foil Breeding Pool, completing our Galaxy Foil Quest. Very nice. Oh, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everyone. Be well.